Welcome to the 2023-2024 Vex Robotics competition season and this year's game, VRC Over the the Top. top. Over the Top is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, made up of two teams each. The primary scoring object in VRC Over the Top are plastic acorn shaped tri balls with a primary dimension of just over six inches. There are a total of 36 tri balls in an Over the Top map. One preload per robot, 20 on the field, and six match loads per alliance. Good. There is a four foot tower in the center of the field where tri balls can be scored in one of three areas. The bottom zone worth two points, the high zone worth five points, and the alliance colored baskets also worth five points. However, having a full basket of tri balls activates a status known as the bonus bottoms. This sets the value of all of an alliance's color to increase dramatically in the bottom zone. Notice, a full basket is three tri balls, but it does not matter where those three tri balls can be scored to activate the bonus. In addition to scoring tri balls, robots can spin the two rollers. Rollers are 250 millimeters long and 60 millimeters wide. If the area inside of a roller's pointers only shows one color, that roller is considered to be owned by that alliance. Each owned roller is 10 points. Robots can pick up additional tri balls from the match load zones. However, robots can only possess one tri ball at a time. Matches start with a 15 second autonomous period where robots operate without input from their drivers and cannot cross the autonomous lines. Alliances also have the opportunity to earn an autonomous win point by doing certain tasks in the autonomous period. These tasks include clearing the match load zone, scoring at least two tri balls in the high zone, and contacting the ladder. Robots may break the plane of the bottom zone of the center tower to de-score tri balls, but may not touch the field tiles within. Going towards the end of the match, robots must park in the match load zones to avoid the end game penalty. For every field tile a robot is touching is minus the tri ball scored up top, meaning if a robot is contacting four tiles, then they will lose four tri balls. So, how did we build this? We first zip tied the nets from spin up to the ladder and also added spin up bowls on the top. We easily created rollers using a couple of screws and nuts to a C channel. And then we added two sets of corners from spin up to both underneath the ladder and the corners. The corners also have cones from over under. Now, let's set up the tri balls. 